understand. You look like a woman. Uh, um, <laughs> um, what's not to understand about that? You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Uh, why not? Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. Well, not the universal truth. Some people, uh, some women fight. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. <laughs> well, then, really, so many people are asking that question these days. We don't wish to be men. We wish to be women who fight. Do they also wish to live on the moon? That's as attainable. Yeah, sure, why not? We can do that too. Um, uh, I am a woman and I'm fighting. One of those things can't be true. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Well, yeah, maybe your belief system is a little bit outdated. Um, maybe, uh, but the person can choose what to do. Can they? Yes. We'll see. Ha. Anyway, hey, it's me, Furia. Welcome back to my channel. Finally, I am uh, able to record. Actually, the last video that I released was still pre-recorded. And now I'm making new videos right here it's happening and i'm so happy i'm so glad i'm currently in my new place and i am the person who is making most noise most most noise in this apartment right now in this house right now rather and i'm just so so happy to be here both my new apartment and this game and youtube and i'm just so excited about everything so yay yay so happy to share this moment with you guys and girls and everyone else so um i actually had to look <laughs> my own youtube video what was i doing the last time because it's been such a long time last i recorded this game and i was in the castle and there was this boy who was um taken by a demon and now i go to see the mages in the mage tower uh i try to see if i can open some um chests there and then I probably go to fade. So yippee! All sorts of fun stuff happening. What do you wish of me? Um I like to discuss something personal, maybe. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as Great. any. Great. Um no. Uh, never mind. Uh can I just what ask do you wish of me? something general then? If you must. Alright. Um is there anything that can be done for possessed mage? Is the child abomination you speak of from the haunted castle? If what you seek is to remove the demon from the child without harming the child, there is a way indeed. There is a connection between the child and the demon, one which can be followed to the demon's true form within the fade. There, the demon can be battled directly. Only a mage may enter the Fade. It requires Lyrian and a group of mages to cast the ritual, neither of which we have, yes? And had we those things, it would still fall on one mage alone to defeat the demon. No simple task, but there you have it. Well, there, where I have you, Morrigan. Ah, uh, look at those potions and scrolls. Very nice details. I never noticed those ever before. Very nice. I was going to say something. Oh yeah, um, my whole um, recording system has been kind of set up backwards. My mic used to be on my left side and my um, main screen used to be on my left side and now it's both on the right side and I just, I feel so awkward here and I think my mic balance is off because it's in a different position than I'm used to. Oh, so many things happening. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Um, have you heard any rumors? The dark spawn have attacked Lothering. I don't think everyone even had fled by the time they came either. 
Word has it they swarmed the entire area, making off with prisoners and burning down the buildings. And then they were gone, just as quick. I wonder if there's anyone left. I heard some chanters were going to head down south, maybe to try to find some survivors. And I'm not holding out hope myself. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. All right. Um, let me see a verse. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Yes, yes, yes. Let's talk more business. I don't really remember what everything I have. What was my plan with everything? Can I sell this? My inventory is overflowing. I obviously need to sell a lot of stuff. Do these take inventory space? They probably do. Can I... Does it sell the whole stack? Or can I choose how many I sell? Oh... This got suddenly so much more... Complex. Ooh... Battle axe, 200 damage draw. I need to. Oh, can I? Yes. All right. All right. <sighs> I'm probably gonna sell the crossbow at least. Commander's helm. It has more armor, but less defense. A more fatigue. Fat fatigue. Fatigue. What is fatigue? Uh, Templar helm. Even more such a problem. Leather gloves. Display metal gloves. Uh, oh boy, I just completely forget about all of this that I have to do. HTML. Flat play. Wow. It's crazy. This is actually pretty nice. Can he wear it? Ooh. All right, let's just go all in. Does he have a... No, he doesn't have a set. I don't have Templar boots or Templar hands. I guess I would have to have like heavy, heavy mail. Um, boots or hands and I don't have any of that. Oh, let's just go with that. Morrigan. Oh, Iron Rings. Morrigan. That's actually pretty nice stuff. I think. Um, what is the difference between armor and defense? What is better? I am completely kind of lost on that. Right, he has armor penetration and armor. Uh, these are all ones, I think. Cold physical resistance. I'm gonna give you that. that. I'm gonna sell all the dog stuff. And then... Stain has Grey Sword, and I have this Battle Axe right here, but it's worse. Heavy Maul, still worse, so I can sell all my weapons. I can give him this kind of ridiculous hor Hornet helmet. Uh, he doesn't have belt, and I don't have any belt that he could wear. Heavy chain mail boots. He could wear... He can wear this one. I don't have another heavy armor that he could wear. Liliana doesn't even have a helmet. Alright, you can have a Kunari cap. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> She has a dagger and a shield. 
Why on earth have I chosen to do so? I have literally no idea, but okay. I trust myself. I don't know if I should. But I do. I am just so hung on to that one point of dexterity that this armor gives me. But I'm thinking if I should just get better armor rating. No way. It's not the only thing. I also get items a bonus if I use this one and it's pretty good. I remember I tried them on and then I just took them off because you know, I can do for you. Please, the item set bonus is so good. Me. I'm sure you'll oh. be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected and with your discount. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Let's do some business. Uh, I'm the next character I probably get to my group is is um maybe the dwarf Ogren. He probably has some stuff of his own. We can just sell this. Ooh. I just sold the heavier armor. Oh, right. This is Vince all close. Oh. Do I want to keep it or sell it? Do I really need it for anything? Oh, I could get Shane too. Her wings. I need another backpack or something. I don't know, I'm just gonna sell these. I don't think I'm gonna be using them so much. Small gold bar. Oh, oh, shoo. I have these gifts here. And I think they take also base. have tons of them and that's kind of not very nice actually <laughs> because if I just keep dumping these on those people they're all gonna just love me and it's like I've done nothing I never had to bother having conversations with them how do I even give a gift is this Playthrough gonna be me wondering how I'm gonna give gifts. Uh, there was these bones. Um, do I have to be close to be able to give it? Oh, I have no idea how to give a gift. Oh, look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. <laughs> it's the dog that counts. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. You heard the lady. <laughs> I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative, I can tell. I do it too. Oh wow! She sounded just like Alistair. 
Wow. <laughs> that was so great. I have no idea how the game keeps. Somebody tell me in the comments for the next video so that I can give these gifts away and get some <laughs> space in my inventory. Hi. What do you need? I'd like you ask you something. Ask away. Um So how did you become a Grey Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it and pass out. Did I ask you this? Forgotten already, have you? I mean, before that. Let's see, I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. Mm. You don't seem like the religious story. You're telling me I was banished to the kitchens to scour the pots more times than I can count. And that's a lot. I, I can count pretty high. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. I can count pretty Duncan high. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually. And was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Um. Blah, 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 blah. You think this is better than being a Templar? Oh, I suppose the Chantry life is good enough for some. Here, we have the chance to fight against the Blight. To actually do some good instead of sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. Hmm. Um, he was a good man. He was. A good man who didn't deserve his fate. That much I'm sure of. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Yay, and where is my mouse? Yes. Yes. I like to talk. Well, here I am. Um have I have I talked with I did talk about this, right? What is meant by someone like me? Um, <laughs> sexy man, I preachy. They don't teach you how to fight in a cloister, do they? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. Um, why were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does not prize, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Well, well. Somebody's a little secretive. Hey, even. Have you encountered many abominations apart from the ones in the Circle Tower? Nope. Why do you ask? You are younger than I, and your nerves yet have some steel in them. Did you feel any fear facing the abominations? Hmm. <sighs> some, but I knew I couldn't not falter. The first time I saw an abomination, my blood turned to ice. It was months before the nightmare stopped. It was the knowledge that I could easily become one of them that frightened me the most. But it is this knowledge that drives you to be cautious, right? One slip. All it takes is one slip. And everything you are is simply gone, replaced by madness. And there is no turning back, or at least that's what they say. That sounds actually very horrible. Do you have doubts? Of late, I have begun to wonder if, if there is any way an abomination can be cured, or if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity, their humanity.
Why do you care so much about this anyway? Because every mage lives with this threat. It is constantly on our minds. Do not trouble yourself, though. This is only an old lady giving voice to her musings. It sounds like someone close to her turned into abomination and she wants to go back and help them. I was just thinking, I have this memory of going into the Fade. And there, I take my companions with me and they turn against me. But it cannot be this thing with Connor. So where is it? Which game is it? And when does it happen? That's what I'm thinking. Yes. Ah, let's see. Indeed. My mage is... My super power group. Uh, can I just go straight to the circle tower? Oh, I actually have to travel there. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow this me. Again? I'll take you to them. I feel like I've seen this before. Or there, there's just remember something. Sorry if I giggle. <laughs> the Grey Warden dies here. Ooh, one of them is a witch. This one? Wait a minute. Could I just Is there any sense wasting that? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. No! Ah! It is so annoying. It shall be done. I shall do it. Well, the Grey Warden did die. <laughs> didn't go very well. How do I get up there? Oh, I have to go through the trap. Oh. Ouch. Oh, I hate this. Wake, wake him up and talk to him. Mm. You fail. Oh, what? I fail to talk. I... Oh. Oh. I rather thought I would wake up dead or not wake up at all, as the case may be. Yo, how do you but wake up I dead? See you haven't killed me yet. Easy. You go to bed alive and then you wake up dead. Or something like that. It's deep. I'm gonna put it on my space. Alright, I have some questions. Ah. So I am to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zebran. <laughs> Zeb to my friends. I am a he member sucks. of the Antiven Crows. Brought here for the sole purpose of slaying so any surviving Grey Wardens. Which I have failed at, sadly. Mm. What are the Antiven Crows? This elf is a crow. That makes sense. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva. I understand they almost run that nation, and are hired only at great expense. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. Alright, um... You came all the way from Antiva? Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. 
And I said Ogren would be the next character. I did not know I would get him so early. Who hired to who hired you to kill us? A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. Logan, great. How um no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> when were you to see him next? Um uh, Does that mean you're a lo loyal to Logan? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Uh, and now that you fell back on a service? Oh, well, that's between Loghain and the Crows, and between the Crows and myself. And uh, between you and me? <laughs> Isn't that what we're establishing now? Yes. Um, when were you to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. If you... if you had failed. What can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. Although the chances of succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> no. Crazy person. No, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? Um, why are you telling me all this? <laughs> why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Mm. Aren't you... At least loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. Mm. Alright, make it quick. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So, let me serve you instead. I died like in a snap of her fingers. I'm not giving anyone a pause. Um, and what what's to stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Hmm. Won't they come after you? Possibly. I happen to know their wily ways, however. I can protect myself as well as you. Uh, not that you seem to need much help. And if not, well, it's not as if I had many alternatives to start with, is it? Hmm. What do you want in return? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, being allowed to live would be nice and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? <sighs> Very well, I accept your offer. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? No. Don't worry about it, we could use him. Hmm. Alright, alright, I see your point. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. <laughs> a fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Craig. Well, gonna board, Severin. Alright, uh, however, I'm not taking Severin with me. He can wait at the camp. Ugh. I can't believe, though. You know, I died so quick. Did the mage do... You know, they had this... Oh, I'm playing the wrong character. Uh, the mages have this. They they could just oh, friends of red Jenny. They have friends of red Jenny in this one too. Really, really. Where is the codex? Oh, it's Juno. 
Rains of Red Jenny. I am baffled. Ballad. History of January. Connor. Liliana. Zeron. Orleans in Empire. Where's the rich anyone? Apple states. Blood magic. Dominic pushes in. Whoa, a lot of creatures. Of course. Dragon. So much stuff. I'm just one day I'm gonna sit and read through all this. Like by myself. Unless you want me to do it on video. But I just, I have to go through all this stuff. There's so much to learn. Is it a quest related? Oh, it is a quest related. Wow, my mind is now just completely blown. Um, the task was never promised to be easy. You said you could enter the Soul Tower and you were believed. Find a small painted box in the first and chandra Ir Irving's office and deliver it to the door marked in Denarim as agreed. Or be prepared to find yourself hunted across Ferelden. Oh, wow. Sarah. How does the song go? Sarah is. Something like unusual girl or something. I, I can't remember. I'm not gonna sing it. I might listen to it one day here. So, the Tamar songs were pretty it. good in Inquisition. Yeah, I was wondering. Did the mage just pull me out with a fireball or something? I just feel like I died in a snap of fingers. Snap of eyes. Is there more stuff somewhere I can have? I think that was all of it. This is kind of like overly wide. Wait, I can go up here. There is no stuff though. Right. Well, I'm glad that's done with. Continue. No way. Hold up. Uh, you really killed see. all those abominations. I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Oh uh, yes. Does he have a backpack? Yes. And I can actually afford it. Hallelujah. So amazing. I don't remember at all what of these are something I sold myself like I don't need them anymore. And which one of them are stuff that I might need firebomb, fire crystal, and corruptor agent. Ah, uh, you really killed. I'm sure you need supplies yes. after that. I was just wondering how can I skip that? Death road. I just use death road, right? Oh, I can choose how many I sell. All right, it's great. Alfred, I'm gonna keep around. Frozen lining. Okay. Oh, I actually came here for a reason. If only I remember where are the chests that I couldn't open. I find this blue logger. Oh, I found pages from a diary. Okay. Now, come on, please, Mom. 
I don't know if I have the strength for another big battle. You have the strength, you have all the strength in the world. Can't see anything here. There, oh, there was the body there. He's laying around. Oh, I could open it. That's pretty great. Let's see, Morrigan. Oh, Morrigan has already so much better. And so does me. It's complete trash. There is children here and a dead body. You probably want to do something about that. We've rested enough. We need to get oh. these out of the Oh, it's the Templars who are in the cleaning duty, not the mages. That's there's even that little piglet thingy. All right. Colin. Colin's here. Colin, hey. I don't know if I ever sp spoken to Colin again, like in here. I wish I could have gone with them to fight. Okay. Nothing very memorable. Let's go see if there is something here. I remember that there were so many chests that I couldn't get open and now I just can't find any. Wow, mage. Oh, money! I left money around? Bell's cash. It's empty. Oh, am I supposed to put something in there? I have no idea. Wow, I, I'm so confused right now. Apparently it's not. Mages from before the circle and before the chantry held them in check. I just got really confused. <laughs> I thought I, um, everything was... I figured everything out. And now I just feel like... Codex updated. There was a love letter. Ooh. Uh, what is this? I. Why does it keep showing as a new one? Or is this part of the love letters? No. What's related? Very to me. Oh, this is something about uh, how they, how this disaster happened, how they were trying to summon something like Black City stuff. I don't know. This is so much more pleasant to walk around now that there is not enemies. Godwin, isn't he the tranquil? They say you were the one who helped the circle. No. I, I'd kiss your feet if I didn't think you'd kill me. I'm Godwin, mage of the circle. I'm pleased to meet. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, what are any of us doing here now? Who knows? I'm just glad it's all over, and I'd like some rest after my ordeal. So. Well met, and perhaps we'll speak later. It, oh, he's the one who was in the cupboard. Was there a mage in the cupboard, or am I just making this thing up as I go? <laughs> I just, I don't remember anymore. I'm sorry. All right, nothing that crazy special. But whenever you leave a box behind that you cannot open, it annoys a lot. Annoys me a lot. 
guess I feel like there has to be some amazing treasure. And then there is nothing that special. Ooh, what can I go there? Top old statue. Oh no. Oh, this is the one. Uh, I get saying I'm gonna leave the Lila alone and I'm actually gonna say I'm gonna say that uh, because this is I think this is when the um, kind of dark Templar appears and this was the one thing I was yes Revenant I was all through the when I was here playing this um, mage tower part. I kept saying like, "There is a revenant here. There is a revenant here. He's gonna come right now. He's gonna come right now," and he never came because he was right here. And somehow I missed this. But here he is right now. I'm gonna go behind him. Oh, wow. Morgan is just overpowerful. Imagine that with a nightmare difficulty. Wow, a lot of money. Black Wild. Yes. That was the Revenant I was looking for. And now I find it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I knew it's somewhere here. Great. All right. Enchanter's journal. Ah, where is it? Where is mistake? You need to do this. Scrap of paper. It shall be done. Circles, student circles. I missed. Oh, <laughs> what treasures is in there? Something real good, I bet. I miss so much story in here. Can't believe it. I thought I read the Irving's things, but. This was very long. Um. Very long adventure. Directly castle didn't feel this long. Although it is long though. Scroll of Bannister, what is that? Apprentice note. I missed that too. And a statue. <gasps> there you can touch the statues in certain way. And then you summon something, right? Ah. Did ah? This one is not the first one. I thought it was the first one. Am I going to summon another reverend? Reverend. I probably should read the codex. <laughs> Is this the one? No, I have no idea. I just... I don't know. That one. No, it's... Black Wild, Circles within Circles, and Urban's Mistake. It was apprentice known. Fraternity of engineers.
Where when where did it go? It just disappeared. Summoning sciences, is it this one? No. Oh. I don't have focus to do this. I don't know where it went. I'm sorry. It's probably nothing important. Oh, here is a chest. Magic stuff, another one. More stuff to sell. Wait a minute. But I can't, I can't do anything about that trap. Whoa. Foreign page. Five pages, four mages. Here is another torn page. A scrap of paper is hidden in here. Okay, so it's... Oh, it's something like... I'm gonna destroy everything kind of diary. Or more... Another return base. How did I need so much stuff in here? As you say. This is pretty scary. The very one to sell. Very well. All right. I got them all. So it's just it's just a diary of madness. Ooh, another treasure I can't get. That's you. Oh, it's probably you have to touch these statues all in the correct order. And you get something. There is this very kind of choosy noise happening. As you say, extracurricular studies. A book. It shall be done. The binder. All right, more gifts. I'm just taking it back. All this stuff that I have missed in here. It's crazy. Probably should just walk with um very well. Not in the book. I shall do it. Oh another treasure I can't have. I should walk around with this button pressed so that I see if there is something else. That's where we came from. Where am I supposed to go? Here? I'm lost. Oh, book. Galleon had a legend. 
find a note in book. Which which notes have I found? Which notes? I have found which notes. I'm not going to fade this <laughs> episode. This episode is taking so much longer than I ever thought. I thought I'd just pop by and say hi, could you come to Redcliffe? And instead I'm just doing the maze circle all over again. <laughs> <laughs> lesson is this do it probably the first time so you don't have to do it again you know clean up your mess just do it probably and you don't have to you know do what I'm doing imagine oh there's a gist imagine having to do this with the dwarf kingdom <laughs> no way these are oh still gonna get that one the dagger is something i was unable to take because my inventory was full this is super long episode this is where he was all right finally on the top very well All right. There is nothing in here, right? Nothing. All right, I'm I'm gonna pause here and I'm gonna run right back to the bottom, and I'm gonna continue the recording there. All right, I'm back down here. Yeah, I had to run all through that just to get back here. I'm gonna sell. I'm sure you need supplies. Yes, after that, yes, yes, yes. You? Please. I'm gonna sell the stuff that I got. Dagger and the steps. And then is which one is quick save and which one is quick load? Maybe I just play safe and don't touch anything. <laughs> um alright, well let's get to the thing back, we came here for. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Alright, that's great. Um can the circle go to Red Cliff to save a possessed child? The child is possessed. But killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. Wow, that was Life easy. Is at stake. That was so easy. <laughs> All right. shall be done. Uh, I'm gonna pop by Lake Gallenham Docks. Cause I feel like I missed something in there. I'm not sure if I did, but uh I just wanna see. This is pretty great. Who are you? Hester. Welcome back, youngster. Looking to go across to the tower? No. No right now. Well, I'll be here. This obviously reminds me very much of Inquisition. That one particular moment in the life of Inquisitor if she is she. And romancing Cullen. The point. We could all be big good to see you again. This imagination. Players in a play? Exactly. You, I, everything. All a dream. But whose dream? And for whose amusement? Some being of cosmic power. Sublime, enlightened beings. Cosmic power? What, you're serious? They thought of all this grit, all the war. They bloody thought of boils. I got a boil the size of your nose on my big toe, and some beings are enjoying this. <laughs> Disturb sick bastards, if you ask me. Ahem. I still maintain they're more enlightened than that. If I ever come across one of them, I'll give them a what for. Weird conversation. Cosmic powers. Reminds me of those cosmic healer a ASMR. I. A. 
S M R. A S M R. There is no I. Videos on YouTube, the cosmic healers. They're just the best thing ever. Do yourself a favor and check them out. <laughs> this is so good. All right, I'm gonna go to the camp and talk to Zevran, and then uh, I'm gonna end the episode. And I'm gonna go to the fade in the next episode. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, hi Zevran. Here I am. Um, here to ask myself questions. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. <laughs> what does it take to become an assassin? Well, the crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training, the sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. Um. Uh, it doesn't take any special skill? I don't know about that. It's simply a slightly different skill set from your average killer as I see it. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. Uh, that sounds like it could be useful. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. Uh, so let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? All right. Um, by the next episode, I'm also going to check out how to give gifts. So that's what I'm going to start with the next time. I'm going to give some gifts and get some inventory space and see how they react to all that stuff. And then we're going back to Redcliff and we're going to save Connor. And that's that's going to be great. I am also thinking that after I'm done all that, I might go back to Ostaker. I'm not sure if I could go there yet, but it would be just curious to go back there and just there's so many places I want to go. <laughs> it's really hard to choose where to go next. Anyway, that's my plan and um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This episode was a really weird one. <laughs> <laughs> just getting back to you know the mood how to play this game what was I doing how does it work what's my stuff everything but it's coming back to me and I'm really glad to be doing this again so I really look forward to seeing you in the next episode and we're gonna have so much fun so I see you there bye